Living in pain, plagued by sickness, haunted by your own looming mortality? Not anymore. Now there's Icarite, a technological miracle that lets us transfer consciousness from one body to another. That's right, humanity's wildest dream has been fulfilled. The dream of immortality. Now, when sickness or old age starts dragging you down, you can bid on a brand new body at your local government auction house. Give yourself and your loved ones a new lease on life. And don't forget, the body subscription service is mandatory for all citizens 21 and older. So protect your investment. Always avoid illicit substances, Never skip any mandated shell inspections. And prioritize your well-being, physical, psychological, and especially financial. Any lapse subscription payments will result in your body being submitted to a bailiff auction. And remember, any and all violations will be prosecuted by the Department of Mortality. Don't you already know who the murderer is? That's not the point. And at least tell me what's going on. Just watch, okay? This is the best part, where he's questioning the suspect. And when are you gonna question me? You want me to question you? Don't you want to? <laughs> well, should I handcuff you? We always uh, handcuff suspects. I think you'd better. Sounds dangerous. I'm always dangerous. Too bad you didn't warn me before we got married. Would that have changed your mind? What if it had? Where do you think we'd be now? I don't know. Maybe I... Maybe I wouldn't have... Prohibition violation at intersection of... Breaking news. The president today signed into law a controversial bill reducing the age limit for free body subscriptions, despite earlier promises to the contrary. Fucking politics. Ready to get back in the saddle, Chief. I uh, sent you the papers. Oh, I know. I'm looking at them. Did you hear this? Fuck! What are you... Don't tear them up! Fuck! The accident was barely two weeks ago. Look, the committee already thought you were a hot mess. Trying to come back this soon? That's just got him convinced. You know fucking medical miracle, James. Chief, we've been busting our humps in the same department for half a century. You know I know this fucking job like nobody else. And you know I've got your back, too. Come on, Chief. You gotta let me come back. My hands are tied. Officially. Yeah? So unofficially, I'm all ears. Political case. Discreet. I'm listening. Favor for a guy whose signature trumps every test and commission out there. Why 
Why do I feel like there's a but coming? Because you're fucking difficult. Also, without your sync tests, can't get you back in the system. So I'm gonna put you with a liaison officer. She'll be the one with full access. A babysitter? Fucking hell. You asked for it, sunshine. Wait, I'll put her on. more than once. if you could drown. But of course, drowning is forbidden. Blocked like any other exit from paradise. Kara? James? Kara? No, fuck that. No way. Forget it, Chief. You're already on the line. James. Sarah Cott. Sarah. James Kara. Let me go pull some strings. Back it up. Dropped us into some bullshit, didn't he? And I had such good stats up to now. Crap. Yeah, I'm fucking thrilled to be working with you, too. Uh, what can I say? Your reputation precedes you. Especially after you fucked up half the city with that train. I don't remember much about the accident. People tell me it was kind of a spectacle. You don't remember? So... What, you haven't synchronized yet? I'm in sync like a fucking Swiss watch, okay? <laughs> Don't piss in my ear and tell me it's raining. Okay, I'm back. You're my best friend now, right? Sorry, boss. Sarah, I've sent you all the authorizations. Forward the package to Karen. Listen, he's a good cop. Just keep an eye on him. Okay, Steiner out. All right, let's get the show on the road. I need the address of the nearest post office. Fine. That girl in the hat overshadows more and more of the city, doesn't she? Sorry? Well, the one from the body auction ad? I haven't seen it. How could you not see it? It's on every goddamn corner. Looks like TS-45-7. You're in Times Square? Last place they play good old fashioned crime stories. <laughs> yeah, you like watching how the cops used to do it? Detectives, not cops. Big difference. I'll take your word for it. Okay, movie buff, go for the package. Platform 53D, Terminal 3. symptoms and the memories I'm 120 years old and I don't have any strength left to keep recalling the past
Look, James, we got off on the wrong foot. It happens. You don't need to apologize. Oh, I know, and I'm not going to. I just I want you to understand I'm in the home stretch for a fat promotion. I've been working my ass off, so I can't afford any mistakes right now. And, you know, you're sort of notorious for unconventional methods. Ooh, me? Oh, come on. Everybody knows you don't give two greasy rat shits about regulations. The only thing I ask is that we act professionally, okay? I'm willing to give it a shot. No promises. Great. Better than nothing, I guess. That's the spirit. Shipping code. James Cara 77112P. Police shipment. Additional verification required. Enter badge number. 984. No authorization. Shit. Sarah, I need access. Oh, right. Uh, enter my number. 116739. Thanks. 116739. Thank you. The package is on its way. We hope you enjoy it. Have you opened it yet? One second. I have to move my car. Confidential and will be automatically destroyed after reading. Select a section to read the files. Subject's name is Edward Green. Who? Hard to confuse this mug with anybody else. Green's sponsoring some kind of exhibition in Central Park. I saw it on the news earlier. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. Well, let me look it up. Yep. It's supposed to be in a few days. He'll have to get back on his feet pretty damn fast then. Okay, Green, Edward. Oh, shit. Sarah? You okay? Shit. Shit! Oh, I'm reading up on Green. Holy fuck, you know who this guy is? Her 
relax. It's only a routine job. Routine my ass? What are we supposed to do? We get in, pull the Icarite, and deliver it to the Consciousness Transmission Center. No sweat. You're telling me the Covenant Chief, the guy who used to be the Secretary of Health, his Icarite's just lying around in a dead body? Fucking hell! Why isn't this going through official channels? Scandal. Keep his name out of the mud. You know what could happen if the Icarite of a guy like Green fell into the wrong hands? And the fewer people know about it, the better. The atmosphere's tense because of this bill to reduce free body subscriptions. Exactly. Look on the bright side. I'm betting Green's gratitude hits the gas on that dream promotion of yours. Where's his body? Fifth Avenue. Top floor. Looks like it's Green's own apartment. You'll get a chance to see the wannabe Olympus with your own eyes. Wanna tag along? Uh, no. I'm not authorized for field work. You don't leave the house much, do you? What? What kind of question is that? I'm just connecting dots. You haven't seen the ad, but it's literally everywhere. And you don't want to come with me. I already told you. That's because it's against the rules. And stop detective baiting me, or whatever the hell you call it. Sure. You're right. Not my business. I'll respect your space. Um, thanks. I appreciate it. All right. I'm all up to speed. Then let's get on with it. Attention. Documentation will be automatically destroyed. James, I, um, I know you're not reinstated yet, but have you recovered from the accident? Like, mentally, I mean? Thanks for the concern, but I've never felt better. I'll ping you when I get there. Car out. took this job. I'd take any job at that point, even though political cases fester like rust-laced wounds. I was off to hang out with high society, of which I always had a low opinion. Maybe because it consisted mostly of low people. At this altitude, the air was so clean that without a smoke, I was beginning to suffocate. James, camera. This was supposed to be an accident. Fuckers hanging from the last cherry tree. What do you mean the last? Like, last, last? Mm hmm. Let's pull the Ica right and get out of here. There was a pool of lecithin gel underneath the floor, feeding that big tree. 
whole thing went up like a stick of dynamite. And here he scores a few points. Points? For what? This engine could push a car up past 120 miles per hour, running on gasoline, on the ground. You know, it's hard enough to imagine driving on the ground and all, but 120? <laughs> no, I call bullshit on that one. Damn. He really got cooked, didn't he? Well, I'm still going to need a photo for identification. I mean, it could be him. Could doesn't cut it. We have to be sure. Hmm. This is guesswork, James. I won't identify him. Not officially. I have an idea. You won't like it. This is a federal case, James. And we're supposed to pull Green's Icarite, right, not someone's. Moving on to reconstruction. Seeing this. What? Some kind of anomaly. Who cares? It's green. Pull it, Zikarite, and let's go. The Icarite's melted. So? That's his insurer's problem. Come on, let's go. Sarah, he's dead. Like, you mean final death? Dead? Well, just... I, I mean, fix it. Just... Sarah, listen. I've seen this before. Up close. Take a few deep breaths. Then we'll start looking for who did it. We have to report this. We have to. Anything beyond that? I, it's... I'm... I'm sorry. Mm -mm. Sarah, relax. You're not doing anything. Got it? You're not even here. <laughs> if only it were that simple. Omega code 112358. Suspected murder. The right side of the body is more heavily charred. The tree must have exploded after he'd been hanged. James, stop doing this. It wasn't just a fire. I'll find the cause and we're out of here. Gel's flammable. It may have been a short circuit, or someone could have ignited it deliberately. I need to find the source. James, don't fucking ignore me.
can see you're having a great time. Right. The main transformer is under the floor. Someone flooded the transformer and it caught fire. The cable acted like a fuse. That's what caused the explosion. It's getting more and more obvious why nobody wants to work with you. I'll look for any pre-explosion traces, then we're out of here. James, I wasn't born yesterday. You said that before, and I don't believe you. Okay, this is some kind of emblem? It's starting to get interesting. Someone carved this date long ago. What's up with the snake? Mm, check the encyclopedia. Someone tried to smash that glass before the explosion. Cracked it and left a handprint. Stop it. James, you've got to stop this. Finally paying attention. Great. So, now the question is, did Green try to crack open that plate with his own forehead, or did somebody else use Green's forehead like a ball-peen hammer? Why can't we see the killer in the reconstruction? He covered his tracks. Pretty damn skillfully. So someone was here. Fucking hell. What? You gonna tattle to the chief again? 
Would you just let that drop already? What's done is done. No point in picking at it. Wait, wait, wait. We're not going to work like this. There's got to be at least a baseline of trust here. Yeah, well, that's all well and good, except we're running out of time to figure out how the tree got set on fire. So, come on. Chop, chop. Shit. What happened? The fuse is just blue. What? Why? The reconstructor needs massive amounts of energy. Sometimes the limiter doesn't adjust to the environment and pop. Blue fuses. Turned on the emergency lights. I wonder what the chief would have to say about that. Don't thank me, and for fuck's sake, get a move on. Something went off here. Probably some kind of relic. To the best of friends, always auspicious winds. Green. That asshole had friends. Hard to believe. I'm getting a bad head off this thing. I wonder which one's the best friend now. I wonder why a gift from Green is in his own home. Let's see what the patient has to say. Matched to Green's blood type. He was fighting with someone. Or he cut himself as he jumped. Sarah, think outside of the box. I can come up with obvious ideas myself. from there. If he cut himself on the railing, there should be blood on it. Blood. I'll come back to that later. has a fragrance museum in his home? Aromatherapy helps with synchronization. Aromatherapy? Sure. Pity we're all rolling around in sewage. <gasps> James, is that chocolate? That's what it says here. Can I, um... Oh, can I ask you to do something for me? <laughs> what, you want me to steal evidence? No. I mean, yes. Listen, could you... <sighs> could you describe the scent to me? Kind of like... It's like taking synthetic tobacco and smearing it on your fingers. 
tell you what, why don't you try describing it in a way that doesn't sound gross? Well, I can give it a shot. Like a cigar, only without any shitty chemical aftertaste. Okay, um, let's try this another way. Uh, does it make you feel something when you smell it? Emotions? James, anything. You think it's edible? Glossing right over the emotion talk. Okay, look, that sample's probably over a hundred years old. Food spoiled in the past. It could make you really sick. I smell it, the more I want to eat it. So, some smeared tobacco, um, a non-crappy cigar, and you want to eat it. Exactly. Okay. D um, thank you very much. Let's get back to work. Someone must have pushed him. No trace of blood on the railing. So he didn't cut himself here. This is weird. Green's fingerprints are on the railing. So he was leaning against it? Looks that way. came from this side. They? Half of the reconstruction is inconsistent. Someone must have been messing with it. We don't have enough information to find the other one. How do you think this went down? Green gave up after the fight and did whatever the perpetrator told him to. I'm thinking he put the rope around his own neck and then destroyed his own Icarite. Well, in any case, Green didn't jump. Someone pushed him. There's a blood trail here. He must have gotten cut before the hanging. Do you have a UV lamp? I don't leave home without it.
walking up these stairs. Unusual shape. Like he was lying here. for mercy. Another trace of blood. Hit it with the UV lamp. Look at that. The tracks connect. What he got? I do. And it still wasn't enough. Shit. Sounds like you hated his guts. <sighs> oh, please. He's got something on his clothes. Some kind of chemical? Huh. The reconstructor's coming up goose eggs on its composition. Must be rare as shit, then. It stretches across the floor. I'll switch to UV. This way. It looks like Green was rummaging around the transformer. Cables are torn out. Same as the one around Green's neck. You think he did it? I think someone made him do it. Exactly the way the perpetrator wanted it to. Seriously? You're repeating yourself. There's something here. 
James? I've lost visual. are on their way there, so consider this a heads up. If they find you, I don't fucking know you. Are you... you're serious? We've been friends for fucking decades and you're gonna hang me out to dry? How's the situation? They're coming. Time to clean up. Sarah, if we're gonna keep working together, you're gonna have to promise me something. What? that you'll never do anything behind my back again. Are you fucking kidding me? Are we gonna pinky swear? Should I let you know every time I change a fucking tampon? James, the feds are coming. So, grow a pair, and please, with a fucking cherry on top, clean up this mess. Whoa. Yes, now, come on, move before they bust us. I'm gonna leave a mess after all. Nobody will even know I was here. I leave the body of a dead god on the flaming Mount Olympus. Time to go back to the underworld he cast us all into. In the gut of a body not my own, I can feel this case is nothing but trouble and heartache. And even worse, it's personal. A lit cigar pressed against a wound that never heals. That's me. The second time I've seen Icarite completely melted. Just when I got a little better at forgetting the first one. of synthetic tobacco fills the staircase. Almost like that chocolate at Green's place. Almost.
home. James, Kara, how was your day? Excellent. Only one corpse. I'm glad to hear that. Due to the high level of air pollution, I recommend full body decontamination. Mail voicemail message from Old Bastard. Kara, I'm waiting for a report. You know which one. I advise you to get a move on. You're lucky I don't need to water you. Depend on me. You won't have long to live. How much time has passed? I feel like I'm taking them more and more often. I'm sorry your luck ran out the way it did. Really sorry. I don't know how I was lucky enough to even meet a woman like that. sell this car and the car was great but started to fall apart and it wasn't safe either a sound mind and a sound body I've forgotten what that's like started the service. The guys didn't believe she was my wife. Even when I brought this photo, they said it was photo montage. I bet every one of those guys has a new body by now. Probably wouldn't recognize each other on the street.
That's the site. In the first days after changing into this shell, the shakes were so bad I couldn't come out here. The city sprawls in every direction. It's only a matter of time before it starts devouring itself. This infernal racket is the pulse of the city. The main artery leading to the CTC itself. for immortality. Nobody remembers when we lost sight of it. Son, we never had time to go there. As usual. Finally. the neck elbow to the face Man, impossible I, I'm, I'm down you got lucky until the next one a 
It's hard to get used to a face marked by someone else's mistakes. Though for some reason, it's much easier with the eyes. Once the life fades out of them, they can belong to anyone. space to fire up the evidence board. Actors in their own bodies. Now that was cinema. Sarah? How's the job going? To complete my report, I need to summarize the evidence. I need access to the system. You heard Chief Steiner. He wants it classified as a suicide and sent straight to him. Sarah, look, I'll owe you. I need to check a few things. Let me remind you that we've known each other for about five minutes. Do you think I don't know why the chief put you on restricted duty? I read your wife's case file. <sighs> uh, forgive me for mentioning her, but it was the same kind of suicide. Sarah, listen to me very carefully. We're in this together, and it's a lot bigger than the Chief. Sooner or later, the report will make it to the top brass, and we'll both be fucked. Unless we consider all the circumstances in the report. Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, you know what? Here's what we'll do. I have access, so I analyze, and I put the evidence on the board. Is that clear? As clear as day. Okay. I'm... Uh, I'm sorry for bringing your wife up like that. Look, let's not fight. Let's connect the dots one by one. If we agree with the conclusions, we move on. You'll agree with me sooner or later. The sooner we get this over with, the sooner you can write the report. <laughs> That's the spirit. I should clear up Sarah's doubts about the murder. First, I have to prove that somebody else was there besides Green. And when Sarah takes the bait, I'll convince her about the rest. He could have cut himself, maybe? Like how? Shaving? This is quite a lead. Who's doing the beating? A fucking ghost? Excellent question. Look, you don't have to try to convince me that Green is behind everything. Search 
yourself. Somebody had to be pretty damn determined to fuck Green Zikarite up this bad. Somebody. Right. Could have been Green himself. This is creepy. Ugh, looking at this makes my skin crawl. You don't want to know what it's doing to mine. It'll be hard to defend the theory about these cables. The moment of the fall is puzzling. I want to say that someone kicked him, but we don't have enough. I know. What else do you need? A lot of money, promotion, happiness. That's after we've solved this case. Oh, how lucky I found you. Okay, we still have shit, but we can at least ask two questions. First, what's the actual cause of death? Second, who's the culprit and what's his motive? Are you saying you're getting involved? I've already changed my mind. Are you the same with guys? I won't correct you on everything you just said that was wrong. Besides, I'm looking for more information about the evidence. But seriously, no more jokes. I found some interesting tidbits. Please share. Only with friends. But I'll make an exception for you. He had guests. What do we know about them? Kovalev is a smuggler and the owner of Icarus. And Salma, as you know, is that famous psychologist and a psychiatrist. A smuggler and a shrink. Quite a pair of farewell guests. Apparently, he had a heavy foot. He was just showing off to a girl. If I had such a fancy car, I wouldn't need a girl for anything. He didn't glow at night by any chance, because of everything in his blood. Many drugs are rare, withdrawn, or from government projects. Wait, how do you know if Green doesn't glow at night? I don't want to talk about it. We haven't known each other long enough. We would have seen a shootout in the reconstruction. Hmm, must have happened before. Maybe he shot someone? complicated about this but what next James this is clear and I know give me a minute it looks like something we can build a case on anyway well that's a lot of enthusiasm which I don't share hey keep it to yourself Whoa, whoa, I'm not trying to say we don't have anything. I didn't say you were. Now stop yelling. We know what's going on. Now we only need the motive and the perpetrator. Yeah, then tea and we'll find Kennedy's killer before an evening snack. Who? Oh, geez, how did you even get through high school? What did I pass? I used to play baseball. You forgot, and I was fucking great at it. Right, now I remember. James, this is fun, and I'd play three more games of solitaire, but it won't prove anything. What else do you need? More facts, or it's a waste of effort. Talk seriously. Is this some lame engagement joke? What? No, it's, it's not like that. 
I, I just have something for you. If it is, however, some stupid joke, I will get fucking mental on you. There is one more piece of evidence. Sorry? Why don't I know about it? It's not in the archive. Because it's not a photo. Oh, wait a minute. <sighs> Tell me you're joking. I'm begging you. It turns out I think it is indispensable. You took physical evidence from the crime scene? <sighs> They'll put us in jail for this! Oh, shit. I take it back. I'd rather have the engagement ring. It's beautiful. A vial of strange liquid. Probably poison. This creepy voodoo symbol on it makes it more mysterious. More importantly, the material of the vial might retain fingerprints. What do you think? Show me. If you have any more stolen evidence up your ass, you better get it out now, before you hurt yourself. Not this time. Consult your doctor. There's even a term for it. Kleptomania. Symptoms include paying for it someday. Hard to believe it's been almost 100 years. At parties, I said I smashed it with the ball during the game. The truth is, it was after the game. And I had a ball-shaped stone trophy. A football trophy. Your herm coat? Nine, seven, fucking six. Around Liberty Island, huh? None of your business. Everything was in Sarah's hands now. Which was neat, since my own hands were shaking in a delirium I inherited after some punk I've never known. And one more thing, in the meantime, please send that damn report. What about evidence analysis? You got evidence illegally, and you want to put it in an official report? I'll send it as is. Maybe we'll find something else later. Or we can just pretend none of this ever happened. A complicated and unfortunate accident in which Icarite... Damn it, what am I doing? A specific fraud theory that doesn't quite... Wait. Enough. Numerous clues indicate the involvement of third parties. Suicide or accident is excluded. Nobody sticks their head outside anymore. As if they wanted to believe this ugly world does not really exist. Huddled in their little flats over the few cents they managed to save towards a new body. Never asking themselves whether the survival instinct makes the urban rats happier, or is this only the selfish genes, free riding on the suffering of subsequent generations, other alien forces exploiting their drive towards self-preservation, their desperate struggle to stay alive a little longer, desperate struggle that even Green has eventually lost. Easier to control, but Green? He was one of the controllers. The person who whacked him was no ordinary citizen either. No way. James, are you in front of the board? No, I went out for a breather. That sample, you were right. It's definitely poison, but that's not all. There was a fragment of a print on it. I managed to reconstruct it and search the database. Who does the print belong to? It's a damn big fish. Slippery, too. Oh, you're gonna make me beg? What's the fucking name? I don't wanna say right now. Somebody on the street might overhear. I sent you everything by snail mail. Let me know as soon as you get it. Deja vu.
Jeez, are the damn politicians. Every penny snatched away from the citizens. I bet they're all celebrating. Deadly poison is atropine. Okay, great. It was Kovalev's fingerprint on the murder weapon, huh? Still think we can't clear this one? I wouldn't start celebrating yet. We'll never get to him. He basically never steps outside Icarus. But you do believe this is a murder now? Well, yes. But... Special announcement. Engine problems have been reported aboard Icarus, which is currently flying over Brooklyn. We ask residents of the borough to stay at home and shelter in place. There is no need to worry. Insurance for bodily injuries will be fully applicable. James, did you hear the announcement? I even felt it. Damn, are you that close to it? Are you all right? Uh, the news feed said it crashed into a building and that it's about to fall into a chasm. Yeah. We can't pass up a fucking golden opportunity like this. Pass up a go- No, wait, James, are you crazy? Too late, bye! The bar was named Icarus, and met its end fittingly. I didn't have time to savor the irony. An impossible chance to get Kovalev has just fallen out from the sky into my very lap. Or at least my very neighborhood. Are you hearing this? Fire department on site. Ambulance is in 13 minutes. Secure the area. Do not go inside. I say again, do not go inside. Sounds like good advice. 